Hi guys, it's Chloe Kiefer with Evolve Lab, and today we're going to be going over a study of generative design in Revit. In this example, Clara is using a modified version of the workspace layout that comes with Revit 2021 to create a generative design for a restaurant layout. So what this script is doing is, is selecting a certain uh, furniture family and placing them multiple times inside of this room. The parameters that it's taking is the distance to the exit doors. And here in the background, we can see that uh, a certain distance that it's trying to keep from all the other tables yeah. and also a relationship to the windows. So it's trying to, to give to these tables a better view to the outside. The script itself is defining a limit of how close those desks or tables can be to that door as well. Okay, so the modifications I did are in gray, and I was the modification I, I made was trying to change this workspace layout to work in a different setting that would be using a table for a restaurant. So, so what I ended up doing was to add this spacing between all desks inside of what Dynamo is understanding as, as the dimension of the table, and then remove them again for the display settings and for, for the placement location. So I edit and then I remove so the script doesn't, doesn't break. So I'm going to go to this view to select my room and I want to select my desk. Here we set in the goals and we wanted to minimize the distance that the, the tables have to the exit and maximize how much views it has to the outside and how much desks we can actually put inside of the same room. And I wanted to note that I made this, um, this room with uh, different angles in the doors because I thought it was going to give a more interesting uh, solution. Because yeah, and yeah, this is one of the options. And here we can see how much rotation it's adding, the space between the rows, and the number of desks that we have changed. So then as an example, then we could filter these out. You could filter out the maximum number of desks uh, and the max amount of views to the outside. The other things we would want to maximize probably is average distance or any guidelines that you have. So this is cool. So like if I was a restaurant owner, Clara, like you could do a generative design study for my restaurant and say, hey, I want the max amount of uh, seats because I want the max amount of guests to make the max amount of money. Uh, also offering the, the best value being the views to the outside and giving them the most amount of privacy, average distance um, to other desks. Uh, with this study. And this is a pretty complex shape too. I mean, if I was to kind of try to think about laying this out manually as a designer, I personally feel like it would be a somewhat challenging task to think about how I could, especially with the geometry that you have here, uh, to try to execute that. I feel like this is a really good example of generative design helping problems solve that. 